in this particular session we will continue with our next scenario for the diva beta application so let's get started let's go with this one and the major objective here was we are able to access the third party app twitter api credential after you have registered with twitter the app requests you to register online and the vendor give you a pin which you can use to register with the app now try to access the api credential from outside the app without knowing the pin we need to access the api credential without entering the pin or without clicking on this particular button similar to your last scenario that we have entered here so if i go with the register now part and click on view api credential it will take me here to enter the pin but if i go back and click on this already registered radio button and then click on view twitter api credentials we can see the api credentials here and to see this api credentials we have to trigger the intent so first of all i'll go with the source code for this activity here and the activity name was access control issue part 2 and just go with your manifest file to find out the same activity here we got the activity here with the name jacker asim diva dot access control 2 activity go with the source code and the source code is here you can see under the source code part you can see we got a method with the name on create that will be triggered when we open this activity or when we click on this button 10 access control issue part 2 this on create method will be triggered the second method here was your view api credentials that will be triggered for your view elements or you can say for your radio buttons or for your this particular button here view api view twitter api credentials under this view api credential method we got i and simple object for the intent class we define a boolean variable with the name chk underscore pin which will store the value from these radio buttons find view id by rid dot aci to whatever the name here is is checked it means if this particular button will be checked the value will be stored here button was checked or unchecked either true or false then we simply set an action for this intent here and the action was set action and the component name was jacker.assim.diva.action.viewcreds2 this was our particular intent action here for the intent name you can say then we put an extra element the boolean value chk underscore pin the value for this particular variable we want to send inside the message box or with the intent you can say and whenever we want to send a variable value or some additional values with the message box we generally use put extra method and with the put extra method we simply call get string from r or the resources dot strings dot chk underscore pin it means we fetch some values from resources strings.xml file and inside strings.xml file we got chk underscore pin let's go with the resources here we have the resources dot arsc resources go with the values and here you will get strings.xml file inside the strings.xml you will get chk underscore pin and the name was check underscore pin simple case it means we simply fetch this value add it with the message and with the boolean value we got here after that part we simply start the activity with our intent it means the particular intent will be used to trigger an activity component you can say so like our last scenario that we have encountered just go with the same case go with the adb shell go with the activity manager as am we want to start an activity go with the start and just specify the action that you want to trigger i'll go with hyphen a for the action and the action let's copy the name here for the action just copy this action name copy and paste this one here after the action we also need to set these extra values out there so i'll simply add check underscore pin chk underscore pin and then add boolean value either true or either false let's go with the again one more thing whenever you have to add some extra components you need to know the exact data type because if i go with adb shell 
am and hit enter you can see for different data types we have different options out there like if you want to add an boolean value you need to use the option hyphen hyphen ez if you want to send an integer value in the response or with the message you have to use hyphen hyphen ei option right now we want to send an boolean value for the boolean part i'll use hyphen hyphen ez option so just go with hyphen hyphen ez here and then go with your variable name as chk underscore pin and then enter any value here so first of all i'll go with the true here and let's hit enter let's see how it reacts if i press enter it will ask me for the pin we don't know the pin so i'll go back and let's try this one with the false enter and again it asks me for the pin right so here the point is the chk underscore pin if you check here chk underscore pin this one this is the variable name this is the variable name and the actual value inside this variable was check underscore pin chck underscore pin right it means inside the command we don't have to write chk underscore pin instead we have to enter chck underscore pin and then enter we need to get the value from these resources check underscore pin and we need to enter this check underscore pin with our command this was your basic access control issue part 2 have a good day and stay connected